Yup. Yeah. The goal today is to slam fish, but I suppose if your goal is to get skunked, you could wear a Rogers jersey. Pow. Oh! All right, let's go ice fishing. When, when did this happen? Oh. Yeah, I haven't even had time to redecorate or anything. Redecorating done. Time to ice fish. <laughs> Boots. Fresh boots off the boot dryer are freaking money. Oh, hello there, gorgeous. I wouldn't forget you. And I wouldn't forget you either. Every good ice fisherman knows you need to bring as much gear as possible and then just, just absolutely throw it in the truck as unorganized as you can because that's, that's how it needs to come out. Just like, and then, does that make sense? Okay, current time check is 1.48 in the morning. Look at that. There is frost on the truck. We are locked, we are loaded, we are ready to go. I've got augers, rods, tackle boxes, extra K drills, minnow bucket, power source, coolers, outdoor cooking. I think we're good. I already wrote this down here, but I'm just gonna rewrite it. It's here. It is finally here. Ice season. All right, current time check. First update, 2.26 in the morning. We still have four hours and 49 minutes to go. But the beauty of leaving extremely early and beating the sun up is there's absolutely no traffic. And I have one more go. Bingo. Got a breakfast sandwich and some OJ. And we are back on the road. On the road again. I just can't wait to get home on the road again. I just can't wait to get home on the road again. American Idol 2023 coming up. All right, current time check. It is 4.46 in the morning. We still have 157 miles to go. Uh, we're probably gonna make some pit stops. I'm thinking about stopping at the tackle store. I obviously need some bait and I need to pick up one or two goodies. And then, and then I think we're leg bound. So yeah, we're making pretty good time. There's still absolutely zero traffic. And I'm, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling alive. All right, we're getting some minnows from the infamous Walleye Will up at Northwoods Bait and Tackle. Oh, got what do we got there? Secret rainbow. Don't tell anybody about it. And a couple little goodies here. I think this is a brand new color. I like the size 316 ounce Tika minnow. Three of those, and then one small pink one, and one little bit bigger pink one. A one eighth and a five sixteenths. I'm just gonna kind of flip flop and play around. I think, I think this is gonna smash. The jam in years past has been the Tika and Northwoods. Obviously, they got great bait, but their tackle selection is just ridiculous. So good. Thank you, all I will. Thank you, Northwoods. Bye. 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 
Bye. <laughs> All right, minnows have been secured. Tikas have been secured. I think that's all we need. So this place right here, this is my buddy Rem's cabin. And every year he's so gracious. He lets me kind of cut through here. And um, yeah, fish, fish the mighty red lake. So So the goal today is simple. Knock the rust off, slam fish, have fun, be safe. I feel like, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Ah. Yup. Yeah. But yeah, like I said a minute ago, the goal today is to slam fish, but I suppose if your goal is to get skunked, you could wear a Rogers jersey. Pow. Oh! All right, let's go ice fishing. It's always good to remember early ice. Take precaution, go slow, go with buddies. But three things I always bring early ice. A spud bar, my ice armor suit. This is an ascent suit, it has motion float technology. This whole suit floats like I'm wearing a giant life jacket. And last but not least, ice picks. If I fall through, I can rip these out and crawl my way back onto safe ice. So go slow, be safe, don't be stupid. There's good ice here, I can smell it. Should we poke a hole just for the heck of it? See how deep we are. Dang, there's a lot of ice out here. That was, that looked like pretty near six inches. All right, what are we working with, Mr. Vexlar? Oh, 4.7, that's not good. Oh my gosh, 9.6 feet. Here we go. We're gonna start here, 9.4, sweet. Okay, yeah, let's, let's drill some holes and then do it. Fish Pro is good to go. I'm just gonna kind of hop these holes, and like I said, if nothing in like 15 or 20 minutes, I'll keep moving and grooving. All right, how could I not? Glow orange bread. How could I not? Are you kidding me?
no good, no good at spot one. So I'm gonna make a little bit of a move. I might try to get in more of that eight and a half foot area. And once I kind of rule that out, then I'll know I'm just gonna go deeper. This is like nine and a half here. I'm just gonna make a slight move, maybe a hundred yards away as soon as that depth really starts to come up. And yeah, I'll jig there for 30 more minutes. And if no good, same song and dance. We'll just move again. Mark. Oh, I just had one. I just had one. See if he'll bite it again. See if he'll bite it again. I just had one. Come back. Oh, I just had one. Come back. Oh, he's back. He's back. He's back. Fish on. On the pinhead. On the pinhead. Oh, he's wrapped. Oh, he's wrapped. Oh, it's a nice one. Get up here, buddy. Get up here. Oh, he just come off. Oh, he just come off. No. On the pinhead minnow. Shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he just come off. Oh, shoot. That was a freaking nice walleye. He was just all wrapped in my transducer. Son of a. Get right back down there. Shoot. No way. I fish pro. What do we have for battery life? Fish Pro, baby. Oh, it's gone. 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 Come on. Be there. Fish on. Fish on. First flag of the day. Get up here. Get up here. Get up here. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that feels so good. <laughs> I can't tell you how good that feels. First flag of the day. A gorgeous little eater, red lake walleye. Wow. Oh my gosh. I, I woke up today at 12.30 a.m finished packing up by 2 a.m. Got on the road a little bit after two. Drove all the way up here. Been fishing basically since nine. And it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's three o'clock now. <laughs> so to get the first one, feels so freaking good. I think we're just gonna kind of plant up here all throughout prime time. This is the same area I caught that other one, or I had that other one right next to the hole so hopefully this is <laughs> this is the start of something good <sighs> wow all right this one looks like this will be under 17 at red lake right now you can keep two fish under 17 and one fish over so i'll bump i'll bump them just to double check but then after that i'm going to slit his gills here bleed them out and um yeah i might i might have them tonight for dinner over at jr's access Right, really quick, I'll bump him. What does he go? Oh, he's actually bigger. He's bigger than 17, okay. So this will be my one over. So everything I catch from here on out, it's 
got to be under 17 inches to keep. All right, I'm not going to talk. I'm going to sprint back over there, set that iFish Pro back up. <sighs> Maybe we'll get a little run of fish here. I got one bite, and I'm like, we're, we're going to get a run. You never know. Oh my gosh, fish on. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm the Tika minnow. Get up here. Oh my god, he choked it. He choked the freaking Tika. I literally, I was looking at the... They always come in when you're not paying attention. I was looking at the freaking sky. Doll, he might be 17. Oh, I gotta run back and check. Things are happening. Look at how he choked that. I literally wasn't even paying dang attention. I think we just got more of an evening bite going on. Wow, he choked it. Come on, be 17 inches or under. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh no. Oh, he is 17. Oh, he's just right at 18. I gotta let him go. See you, buddy. Thanks for the ride. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get back down there. I'm taking this with me. That was that was sick. I, <laughs> he just came flying in. Dang. Oh, if he was just a little shorter, he would also be dinner. Well, not a smash fest by any means, but that's okay. Just to get on the ice and to ice one walleye. That's all I wanted today. Um, we got two walleyes. I missed one. Uh, we're only keeping one. But Red Lake, man, it's just, it can be feast or famine. I've had really, really awesome days here right before Thanksgiving. Uh, and then I've had days where I get skunked too. It's a big, expansive lake. Uh, it's basically just a giant flat and there can just be break lines or pockets that are just loaded with fish and then on the contrary there can be a lot of dead water too so if you're not catching them give it time keep moving around change depths uh, i wish i had a lot of tips or pointers for you but if i could give you one it's just maybe sit on the evening bite if you don't crack them the morning or the afternoon maybe just wait till evening um usually muddy shallow lakes like this they tend to have a little bit better day bite um, and just because they're walleyes I think they're always going to be active in the morning in the evening but um yeah the day bite out here can get pretty nutty sometimes so yeah I'm happy ice fishing's back Move ahead. oh my pretty babe something ain't right got to find a way to move ahead, move ahead.